forbidden fruits, lures, snares, pits, treats and rewards, immorality at a premium, taboos, moral lines not to be crossed, ethical rules broken, mutual attraction, burning tension, temptation to act on the most basic of desires, impulse without thought of consequence, sowing the seeds of lust, willfully, blindfully, or trying to find who you believe is the one in all the wrong places again. Let's go to Romans 8. 8, 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. In verse 8. Verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man hath not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Down to verse 13. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. The Holy Ghost, the indwelling Spirit of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is what makes you different from everyone else and gives you the strength to overcome. And Jesus is the only way you will find salvation, or deliverance, or forgiveness, freedom from the bondage of sexual impurity. Sure, you can exercise willpower, which is based on self-determination and not God's will. You can substitute God's will for a false sense of accomplishment, which is temporary, short-lived, um, you can also come across some false doctrines of demons masquerading as an alternative religion. You know, it'll temporarily pacify you, but at the same time, it'll open up doors to more captivity. Because when you try to open up that third eye, you're going to get more than what you bargained for. God has those doors closed shut for a reason. He has a veil put in place for your benefit. But I digress. You were bought with a price on the cross at Calvary. There is only one way, one truth, and the life, and that is Jesus Christ. There is no other means under heaven to be saved. There is no other way to have eternal life. This carnal world, this carnal world here we cling on to can be compared to a wisp of vapor. 1 Corinthians 6.19 What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? The Holy Ghost will heavy your heart and your conscience to acknowledge and make corrections in your walk in Christ. You were bought with a price, blood, was shed for all of us on that cross. Everything we do should honor the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, Lord and Savior. Galatians 5, 16. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. 24. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Inner turmoil knowing you need to do better but find it so difficult to let go of sexual cravings and desires. There are times when you'll have to plead to the Father to place it upon your will to abide by His will, to have everything that's hindering your walk in Christ removed. Hebrews 12.1 Wherefore, seeing we 
also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. That passage there is for everyone who likes to say that something specifically isn't in the Bible, usually something that we have now but didn't have back then. Well, the scripture covers everything here, like a blanket. Lay aside every weight. So anything that's hindering your walk in Christ, anything that's preventing you from dedicating your life, your will, your all, anything that's preventing you from putting him first, this applies to you. Galatians 6, 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Ephesians 2, 3. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Now when we walk in Christ, our old ways, habits, mannerisms, personality, interactions with others, worldly, worldly desires and cravings are to be put in check by the Holy Ghost. 1 John 2.16 For all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. 1 Peter 4, verses 1 and 2, For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. I feel no need to offer any commentary for all of what was just laid out plainly and simply with all those scriptures. One thing can be said is we shouldn't be defending our evils, telling someone they shouldn't judges because they have issues themselves with something that may or may not pertain to what's being brought you know, to their attention. Um, if you tell me about how I'm doing X, Y, and Z wrong, and if I can tell you about this, that, and the third, about what you do, then we can't let pride keep us both from taking up what we need to take in prayer. All of our failings, all of our misdeeds, helping out each other. That's the, you know, that's a positive thing. So there's no need to be offended. Amen. Amen. Glory to God the Father. Praise Jesus, Son of the Most High. Let's go to let's all go to prayer. Heavenly Father, if there is any frustration or unforgiveness or contention or strife or pettiness or childish behavior or immaturity or anything that would hinder my walk in Christ or separate me from your love, your grace, and your mercy, or from the kingdom of heaven, or from Christ Jesus, then Lord, let me forgive anybody for what they may have done to me, even things I can't remember, or things things that I don't realize I hold on to. Let all of their souls be blessed. Let them all be well. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, renew my mind. Cleanse my heart and soul and spirit so that I can be pure and upright in your eyes. Count it worthy. Jesus, forgive me for all sins I committed. Forgive me for those things that I've done to offend you and even the least of things I fail to recall. I know I'm accountable for every one of them. I turn away from all those things that are hindering me in Christ. I ask that they all be blotted out washed away with the blood that Jesus shed on the cross for my sake and all of our sakes. Jesus, forgive me for all sins and all things that I've done that open up pathways to the enemy, that gave them legal ground to pursue and oppress me, doors I should never have opened in the first place, either willingly or unwillingly, through fault or no fault of my own. 
I'm covered with the blood of Jesus Christ, which also covers my life, my being, my soul, my heart, my mind, my spirit, my emotions, my feelings, and my will. Let all wickedness and unholiness and unrighteousness and all manner of sin that I exposed myself to be lifted and removed, taken away from me and my presence and my life and forgotten, remembered no more in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the power and authority in and through Jesus Christ's name, I bind sexual impurity, lust, pornography, masturbation, indecency, nymphomania, adultery of the heart, adultery of the mind, fornication, whoremongering, prostitution, being sexually deviant, degenerate mind, indecent exposure, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, lust in the mind, sex appeal, inappropriate thoughts, groping, fondling, sexual uncleanness, frigidity, promiscuity, lack of modesty, lewd behavior, lewd thoughts, seductive impulse, unreasonable fondness, sexual predatory behavior, love of sensual pleasures, orgies, advertising sexuality, nakedness, nudity, lustful distraction, covetousness, temptation, eagerness to commit sexual impurity, wrongful passions, uncontrollable passions, burning desires, burning lusts, burning passion, obscene jokes, obscene pillow talk, filthy dreams, sexual control, man sexual manipulation, sexual gratification, sexual defilement, sexual perversion, in and through the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and Savior, I declare that Satan and all unclean spirits collectively named in every other unclean spirit and affiliation connected, related, and resulting to, from, and of them is bound, rebuked, renounced, resisted, refused, rejected. All in Jesus Christ's name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I loose myself from the enemy. I bind and break all curses associated with the enemy. In Jesus Christ's name, I cast out all demons and devils out of my mind, from my thoughts, from out of my body, off and away from my body, from my presence, from my life. In Jesus Christ's name, in Jesus Christ's name, I detach all demons and devils from my whole being, from my will, from my emotions, from my feelings. All of those unclean spirits have to go right now. By the power and authority in Jesus Christ's name, I place the blood of Jesus Christ at the root at which they all came in to attack me, to tempt me, oppress me, torment me, pester me, discourage me, corrupt me, to lie, to yoke me in bondage, or in trying to cause me to falter in my walk in Christ. Jesus, I ask that you have your heavenly angels at your command. <clears throat> Seek out and tear down all distraction and interference of anything that tries to come against your will in my life. Let all fiery darts of the enemy be neutralized and destroyed. Let all satanic and demonic activity that tries to manifest or bring about evil influence in my life be forbidden and undone and removed I declare in your holy and mighty name, the name of Jesus Christ, that no hurt or harm or deception or lies or confusion or any evil shall prevail against me and my in my life. I command all unclean spirits in the name of Jesus Christ to unlink themselves from one another, from one another's support and counsel and power and strength of any kind. I ask for all of these things in prayer and declare it in Jesus Christ's name. Therefore, it is so. It is all done in Jesus Christ's name. By the power and authority in Jesus Christ's name, I close all doors to Satan and all of his devils and demons. All of them are enemies of the Lord, which make them mine as well. I'm a born-again citizen of the kingdom of heaven and the child of the Most High, Almighty God, Yahweh. Any and every attack on me is a declaration of war against heaven. Let all enemies of the kingdom be judged accordingly. 
by the power and authority in and through Jesus Christ's name, I close and seal all of those doors shut with the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power and authority of and in Jesus Christ's name, I command all unclean, displaced spirits to go to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to be judged with all of their roots and all of their links with them. Let none of them come back to pester me. Jesus, let nothing hinder my walk with you. Let nothing hinder my blessings or prayers from being answered. Let nothing harden my heart against you or the Heavenly Father. Let nothing separate me from you or from the Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I ask all of this. I ask for all of this in Jesus Christ's name. Jesus, I know you died for me. You were buried. You rose up again on the third day for my sake and all of our sakes. I know that you are the Son of the Most High, Almighty God, Yahweh, Abba Father, our Heavenly Father, Elohim, Jesus. You are the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, my Redeemer, my Deliverer, Yahushua HaMashiach. Jesus, you're the Messiah, my Lord. You are my Savior my best friend who I can always count on when everyone else has let me down or turned their back on me. You're forever faithful. You're forever true. Thank you again, Jesus. Amen.